in the previous video we have discussed about reproduction and its importance in this video we are going to discuss about the types of reproduction characteristics of asexual reproduction and advantages and disadvantages of asexual reproduction let's begin with the type of reproduction so homo sapiens are produced by male and female parent means two parents are involved so we are the product of two parents but do all organisms reproduce by two parents the answer is no there are some organisms which get reproduced by a single parent also what are these organisms these organisms are single celled organisms in addition to this it can be seen in protist fungi and some simple plants and animals now let's begin with the asexual reproduction so on the basis of the number of parents reproduction is of two types asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction only one parent is involved and there is no involvement of sex cells or gametes whereas in sexual reproduction two parents are involved and there is the involvement of sex cells so this was the major difference between asexual and sexual reproduction let's dive into asexual reproduction now what asexual means i hope you get it a means without and sexual means involvement of gametes or sex cells so in the asexual reproduction the organism is produced from the single parent without the involvement of gametes but how this is possible let me show you how so budding is a type of asexual reproduction in which hydra get reproduced by a single parent let's see how you can see the image of an hydra here when this organism means hydra get mature it develops a small bud on its body that small bud is produced from the mitotic divisions of the somatic cells so now this bud grow tiny and eventually grow older when it get mature it finally detach from the parent hydra and exist as a new individual have you seen that how an offspring is produced from the parent hydra and you can see that the offspring is completely means morphologically and genetically similar to its parent now we are going to discuss about the characteristics of asexual reproduction we have already studied let's revise once more the characteristics of asexual reproduction it includes only one parent there is no involvement of gametes there is no fertilization only mitotic division takes place the reproduction unit is somatic cells there is little or no variation in the offspring the offspring they are also known as clones why clones because clones are morphologically and genetically similar individuals but why we are saying that there is no variation in the offspring as we have already seen that the parent hydra is sharing its genetic material so his whole genetic material get transferred to the offspring so there is no genetic mix up if there is no genetic mix up then there will be no variation but this is not always the case sometimes there may be an error in copying the genetic material in the offspring so here we can say that the offspring they have little or no variation now this was all about the characteristics of asexual reproduction now we are going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of asexual reproduction yes everything or every object has its advantages and disadvantages let's begin with the advantages it is a rapid process because it involves only mitotic division it is a simple process a single parent can produce large number of offspring and no mate is required is the big advantage so these were the advantages now we are going to discuss about the disadvantages of asexual reproduction what are the disadvantages see there is no or very little variation in the offspring if there is no variation then they will not able to survive in the harsh conditions and the next disadvantage is it may leads to the overcrowding of the individuals 
विच लेड टू द डिमिनिशिंग ऑफ द रिसोर्सेस आई होप नाउ यू आर क्लियर अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन characteristics of asexual reproduction and advantages and disadvantages of asexual reproduction in the forthcoming session we are going to discuss about the types of asexual reproduction till then keep watching futurex